or die. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sean Miss Prime here doing another Kodoba Kia statue review on the Artifacts Plus 110th scale Batman from Batman Arkham City. If you're trying to get your Batman Arkham City statue, you can get a big, big toy. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I like the artwork right over here, and we get some more right there. We get some blood. Looks pretty cool. I'm digging that. And then coming around the back over here, you get this read up. And if you want to read that, pause it now. And then we get some pictures of the statue looking pretty Pretty cool. And here's another picture right over here. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Batman out of the packaging, and this thing looks awesome. I like the design, man. I've always loved the design for the Arkham City and the Arkham Asylum Batmans. They just look really, really cool. The cape, man, look at this cape. Love that flowing to it. Now, this is a little different compared to some of the other Artifacts Plus statues I've been reviewing lately. This guy does not have a magnetized base, but he is attached to this little staircase base right over here, which is cool. I like it. He has interchangeable right hand so here's the right hand holding the battering I'm digging how this battering looks I like the gunmetal paint that they used over here and get some nice sharp silver paint right there for the edges that's pretty awesome nice detail in his glove right there so it just has a peg and it goes in there and for the right hand he also comes with this grapple gun which looks really cool too again nice silver paint right there for the end of the hook you know or for the hooks to clip onto the wall and everything that looks really nice I'm digging that again the glove looks awesome and this is removable so you can take this out now you can have your Batman pose without holding anything but then it makes me kind of wish that it came with with a fisted hand just so we could have a double fisting Batman. Plugging these in are very easy. It's just a peg that goes straight in there. And I guess there's some articulation to this statue too, even though it doesn't look right, but you get some fake articulation right there or unintentional articulation anyway. Then you could take the grapple gun hand, put that in there also. See how it looks with the grapple gun in his hand. There it goes, not looking too bad. And you could rotate this around a little bit if you wish to do so. This is a little loose in here, but it's a statue. You're not gonna be running around and playing with it. It's tough to get a good shot of the head sculpt or the face anyway, because he's always kind of looking down, but I like that. Or his head's tilted down, but his eyes are looking up. I really like the flesh tones on his face, and I like how gritty he looks and everything. You know, he looks very, very mean and scowly. Very nice looking Batman. Looks just so realistic with all these wrinkles in here and everything. And then the bat ears look pretty good too. And you can see how the cowl attaches to the cape. Bat suit looks awesome. This Kevlar material or whatever it's supposed to be is all sculpted in there. So these are all nicely sculpted little lines right here. We got all these tiny little squares. You can see the seams of it right there. That looks cool. The bat logo is sculpted on there. You get these bolts that are all painted individually. Keeping everything together. The gauntlets look great. Love that metallic-y kind of look to it. Kind of has like some sparkles right there in the paint or the plastic. Or I don't know what it's made out of, but there's sparkles in there, and I like sparkles. These little pieces right here are pretty firm. I'd be careful with them. You don't want to bump into them or anything like that. And then coming right down here to his belt, that looks so cool. I really love the paint, and it has some shadowing effect going on too, or dirt on there, whatever you want to call it. It looks really dope. I'm really liking the utility belt on this Batman statue. It's really, really cool. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty dope. Then the legs and everything following in suit with the rest of it with that Kevlar and that nice shadowing effect going on. Then there's his boots right over there looking pretty dope. Then this little staircase thing is really, really cool. Very nice looking chewed up staircase. Looks very old and busted up. I'm really digging it a lot. Here's the side of it. That looks dope. Yeah. Digging this, I love the details, man. Big fan of the details. And then just getting one last look at this cape. That is really, really cool. I guess a really cool way to display him showing off the cape and the nice head sculpt would be like this from this angle. I don't know, kind of reminds me of the animated series a little bit, having him set up like that. Now measuring this statue is kind of weird because he's so hunched over, but it is a 110 scale statue and to the top of his ears, he's at seven inches tall. Here's our Arkham City Batman statue compared to our Arkham Origins DC Collectibles Batman figure. So you can see the differences between his suits over here. And here's Batman compared to the Artifacts Plus New 52 Batgirl and Artifacts plus Captain America. And of course here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Let Down Spider-Man. So I think this statue is pretty awesome. My only gripe being that I wish he came with an interchangeable fist, because I think it would have been cool to have two fists over here, but really, I mean, having any interchangeable parts on a statue I think is a bonus, really. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Check out Kotobakia's website and their Facebook for updates from Kotobakia, and also check out ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Welcome to articulated comic book art. That's crispy. So I really like this statue. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs>